Hi, I'm Mike of Convolution Cloud, and we're here today in my home studio. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a mono impulse response of a speaker using Apple's impulse response utility, using a sign sweep as our impulse source. This process can be used to create an impulse response of any kind of speaker, whether that be a boombox, a guitar cabinet, a megaphone, or even a child's toy. For this, you're going to need a copy of Apple's impulse response utility. This comes stock with logic. You'll also need a USB or Firewire sound card with at least one input and one output. You'll also need a microphone. We're going to be using a Shure SM57. And you will also need a speaker. And we're going to be using this boombox. First of all, you need to plug the output of your sound card or interface into the input of your speaker. Then, plug your microphone into the desired input. I will be using input 1. You can mic the speaker up any way you want to. I'm going to use the on-axis mic position. Now that this is done, the next step will be to set up Apple's Impulse Response Utility on your computer or laptop. When you open Apple's Impulse Response Utility, you will be prompted to choose a track layout for recording. Choose the mono configuration from the drop-down menu and click OK like so. Now make sure that the sweep channel is set to the correct output. I'm going to be using output 1. You will also need to make sure that the input is set up correctly. In my case, I will be using input 1. Next you will need to set your sweep length to either 10 or 50 seconds, but this is completely up to you. I will be using a 10 second sweep. When you have done this, click the record button here. We are now ready to record our mono impulse response using a sign sweep. To start the process, click the sweep button here. After the sweep has been captured, you will be prompted to save it. Save the file somewhere familiar as you will need to access it in the last part of this process. Now that you have done this, the option to deconvolve your sign sweep is given here on the left hand side. Click deconvolve and the sign sweep you have recorded will be deconvolved into a click. This is your impulse response. You can also audition it by clicking here. After this, save the project so you can extract the WAV file, ready to be uploaded to convolutioncloud.com. To do this, find the impulse response utility file you saved in a familiar place and right click. Click Show Package Content. This will bring up all the files within your project. The impulse response will be named 1.AIF. Double click on the text and change the name from .AIF to .WAV. It's also a good idea to change the file name. Move or copy the impulse response to a different location on your computer, ready to be uploaded to convolutioncloud.com and to be used in your favourite Convolution Reverb plugin or device. And now we're done. Thanks for watching this video and happy uploading.